Hey everybody, peace. I'm Chuck, welcome to Rock Recording Studios. This is going to be a long one. Troubles and tribulations of a recording studio, big or small. I'm sure the big ones don't have any problems. <coughs> Video's coming to you the next morning. All set to record a video last night and <coughs> play around with Positive Grid's guitar match, which is an awesome feature. I mean, I've <coughs> when I got back into recording after many year hiatus, a lot of new stuff out there. I get a pulse back of the neck. <coughs> so when I got back into the game. All this new stuff is out, which is great, because what you can do with your money now in 2024 versus 1978, 1980 when we were playing guitars and making $6 an hour, and that was above minimum wage. The minimum wage was three something an hour, so we're making good, good money at six bucks an hour. Sure, microphone is the same price today as it was then. Enough said there, so it's a lot easier to be able to afford to buy a Shure mic today, making twenty dollars an hour. Uh, you know, a four-track tape recorder, five hundred bucks, and you get four tracks. Oh my god! And that, you know, I shouldn't say, oh my god, that was you know when I bought the thing, it was great. Plus, plus five hundred dollars, six dollars an hour. Uh, Alexa, divide 40 hours by six dollars. Hmm, I don't know that one. Okay. Yeah, we'll skip the mathematics. But yeah, you can buy a lot more today. Um, so it's all set to, I was really impressed with Guitar Match and I wish I knew that sooner when I started my channel and recorded all these songs and got a good tone on it. it but then I, you know, once Guitar Match hit that, and it, it's like getting hit in the head with a brick to me of just bringing the brilliance of a guitar out. And it's, uh, it's funny because even if you got the best guitar in the world, this is going to make it sound better. It's just, you know, I'm going to use it for just probably about any everything now. Um, maybe, maybe not, because, well, you, it's a variety, so yeah. Um... So I got it working, it looks great. And uh, I also have it in my DAW to use. And I have been using Ableton 10 and that was great. I upgraded a Ableton 11 and I never could get it to work right. I, I revamped my computer, I reloaded everything I got after a matter of time and it still sounded like crap. I get one or two channels, but as soon as I record multi-tracks it sounded like shit so I can never debug it figure out what was wrong with it so I put back and use Ableton 10 who cares right um so last night I've got two computers I got the cyber power which is cyber co power PC awesome computers man the best computer I had and probably the most expensive and that's my most expensive computer is their cheapest in the line thousand dollar computer to me that's a lot of money but to a gamer I guess that's nothing but um, I'm not using it for gaming I'm using it to run the i5 you need an i5 processor to run Adobe Premiere video editing software um, I think probably Ableton now requires it feels like I got a little burr on my neck oh and uh so yeah and then uh but that's not a touch screen so do a quick tune and make sure somewhere is in vicinity close enough for right now so i'm using the bias fx and it's got really don't need it for the bias fx but the bias amplifier Doing everything with the mouse was ridiculous. For example, you can change the tubes just by touching them. 
the transformers. I can change my different transformers out. So everything works by touchscreen. So it's like, I need to get the bigger one. So I got the HP touchscreen. I said, this is going to be one of them. Uh, I had Adobe 11 in there. And I noticed that, um, I, I, what was I trying to do? Oh, do the bias effects in there. So I went to there, I just did still play. <laughs> and it's, I, I got Ableton 10 back on my cyber power seat PC. You know, son of a bitch, see, smoke another one, all right? We got to, uh, we can do better here. All right, hang on a second. What am I trying to do? What I need to do. I don't have enough money yet to get the wireless mic, so we'll do the corded mic. On the cord inside the shirt. All right. Hopefully that's plugged in. We didn't lose everybody, except my train of thought. on TV. You wonder if it's getting it's down here. You, but I guess we'll see if it works. So I got the HP and I want to use the bias because I'm kind of curious. Is bias mobile not as good as in the desktop for sound? I do have because to get it into the tablet it has to be an iPad tablet. You need to have a converter, an interface, excuse me. And there are two grades to the digital interface. There's a regular grade, and then there's the HD2. The upgrade, the best one. Well, if you're doing a YouTube channel or any type of studio, you play and recording out, of course you want the best one. Looks like my camera got crooked, excuse me. And I think it was only around 100 bucks. I forget. There's a video on it. I'm, I should put a link on there. And uh, but I never watch it back in Adam, so forget that. So you wonder, is it not as good as just plugging it direct into like a Scarlet interface or into the app and playing it? Um, the only one way to find out, and that's to do a versus comparison. So this is. <laughs> We gotta get rid of that. That's the reason I did the touch screen. So when I plugged it into the Ableton 11, I was like, since 10's not available, I'll try it again on the 11. I'm not gonna be doing, I just wanna, not gonna be doing multi track recordings, just wanna do a video with the guitar. And um, when I clicked on it and loaded it in there, it, uh, I had one sound that it was held on and I wouldn't let me go in there and change the amps or anything. It's like frozen. A couple things worked on the screen, but so I went back to the version with it not in Ableton, just on the desktop and it uh, worked perfectly. So, and upgrade to Ableton 12. I was like, oh, gee, I haven't even got, you know, Ableton 11 stock. I have. All right, something new. Let's try it, right? So I loaded it in and it started taking a long, long time. This HP all in one touchscreen desktop computer is an i5, but it is slower than death. Start it up a half hour before you're going to use it. Um, 
so I did the upgrade and it took forever. I was like, well, this is nothing's going to happen tonight. <laughs> We're done. Here we go again. You know, five minute Friday should be able to click on it, be up and running, play the guitar. Nope. So I just shut it down. And when I opened it up this morning, the song that they have built in, they always got like a demo, which pretty damn good. I was like, hmm. Right in the key of E major. So that would be what? A, B, C, C sharp minor pentatonic. Okay. And uh, doing a little jamming to it. And I was like, this is pretty cool. I like how they have the demo set up. And for some reason, it stopped playing. And it's, I'm up to 2,000 measures right now in 2001. It's keep playing it. I'm going to have to reset it, and while I'm doing that, we'll put on the bias effects, and let's see, what is it? Okay, with guitar match off, it's going to sound pretty much like it did dry. Stop fucking working.
thing that was on Ableton. When you click on guitar match, it's not the loudness, it's the tone. The whole richness goes away as soon as you hit that switch back off. top because this is a Les Paul so it sounds good by itself they say, like I say it's not the volume that's making it sound better but the richness Up, everybody likes the bridge. With it off again. this green one so actually I got it set up for the blue guitar and that style which is a different guitar try that one AJZ 300, beautiful guitar, semi hollow body, get that hollow body sound. Mm -hmm. 
it's matched to that one a little bit better than the Les Paul, but it's kind of cool using a Les Paul because you get a whole new bank of tones and sounds. Uh, and it's actually from the Ocean Blue, so we've got to change that back to the IZ. Confirm it. Almost sounds better using the Les Paul. And that's what it's about. Experiment with different sounds. See what you like better. Okay. So do the IJZ and match that. Confirm it. That's without the effects dry. Still sounds good.
Now, I will see if it works in Ableton, because this is all recorded live, straight out of the amplifier. And usually don't do that, don't know why. Um, just because you have more control in the studio side of it. And it's in the daytime, I can turn it up a little bit. <laughs> Generally, can't turn it up too loud during the day because the neighbors, blah, blah, blah. It's actually nice to be able to do a live thing and should do more of it since I got the place soundproofed and all that. But, uh, that is the story and I'm sticking to it. folks I think it's gonna be a wrap um, not really much editing to do since I don't know how to work Sony Vegas because again I'm broke and can't afford to pay Adobe and God that added Sony software is so dreadful Ugh. so dreadful what are the new software I was like fuck it it ain't worth it I gotta wait till I can afford Adobe again. And we'll try that route. But yeah. Next video we'll be doing an A-B comparison between mobile and desktop. And see if there is any uh, quality difference. As it's all digital, there shouldn't be. But you know there will be. But um, check out my Ibanez video that I did comparing the Tube Screamer to the Tube Screamer and spark and the professional one in bias i'll tell you bias fx no difference i would say they made the tube screamer from the computer not vice versa so the, the tube screamer was identical on, on it. it's not even wasn't even the uh what on the spark a little teeny tiny bit of difference you could correct it with an equalizer and make it sound the same as the pro model so so bibble babble bibble babble so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe okay you know that's not gonna work it never works